Hello everyone, Chris Queen here and today we're going to talk to you about how to put your Twitter account on autopilot. Um, in order to do this, you're going to need a Twitter account and you're also going to need a Google account. So here you see my Twitter account, Q Team Marketing, and you see here that I have some posts already on here. Now these posts, I did not post myself. I actually have this set up through what I'm going to show you now. Um, if you don't have a Google account, you're going to want to get a Google account. Um, you can basically when you hit sign in um, if you don't have one here you see a link to create an account so I'm not going to go into that but what I am going to go into is how to set up um, the first step which is setting up a Google alert so you want to go in here to um, alerts and basically what an alert is is basically anything that um, you choose as a keyword that you want to be alerted about when you know that comes up in Google so um, I already have some alerts set up. So, but basically, basically just put in a search term, and you can, you know, specify what type of alert you want it to be. You can comprehensive is basically just everything, but you can have it, you know, just news, blogs, web, video, or groups, and um, how often you want it to be alert, alerted on that, you know, keyword, and then it's going to give you the option once you're signed in so let me go ahead and sign in and show you um, to have that either sent to you through email or as an RSS feed so that way you can pull it up in you know Google Reader so I'm going to sign in and here you see I have several alerts um, already set up um, that I can manage now um, like I said here's your search term these are just some books that I have read and I have it set to comprehensive and I have it set to uh, deliver to Google Reader so if we go look in Google Reader you'll see that I have grouped my alerts into a folder and I highly recommend that you do that because it makes it easier for you to have all your alerts go into one RSS feed that you can then um, distribute to your Twitter account. Now in order to set up a folder, um, you're going to go down here and it says manage subscriptions or you can click on settings. But um, here when I click on manage subscriptions, these are all the RSS uh, feeds that I subscribe to um, using Google Reader. Now you don't have to just subscribe to Google Alerts. You can subscribe to any blog that has an RSS feed um, attached to it and you can then you know manage it through Google Alerts. And once you're in here, you know, I, I've set these to all be to a folder I call Google Alert, but you can create a new folder and name it whatever you want. But I'm going to leave it as Google Alerts is the, is the folder that um, these go to. So going back to Google Reader, if I click on this folder, you'll see all the uh, different posts um, from those different RSS alerts that I received from Google. And what you want to do is just click right here and show details. And this will give you the URL that you need to um, that we're going to need to feed to um, twitterfeed.com. So I'm just going to select this and I'm going to copy this so we can use. Now, twitterfeed.com basically is just a free service that allows you to post any RSS feed or blog and post it to your Twitter account on an uh, interval that you set up. So I'm going to show you how to set up one now. If you haven't uh, have an account, you need to just you know create one. It's free and it takes you two seconds. But we're going to create a new feed. And for your first time, in, it's going to ask you you know do you want to send it to Twitter? You can also send it to your Facebook. And there's some other services that it also provides um, for you. But the first time, you're going to have to authenticate your username and password. Now, I already have one set up, so I'm um, going to skip that step and just go to the one that I have set up with my account and continue to step two. Now, here you're going to uh, want to name your feed. So, um, we're going to call this Twitter Secrets. And I want to post in the URL that we copied from Google Reader. Now, you want to. Um, test it to make sure it goes through now if it doesn't go through um, you probably need to go back into your Google Reader and you might have to under settings you might have to change that folder 
to public, which I've already done. So see, I have these set to public. If it's private, it might not let you go through. So you might want to go do that. So once we have a um, a feed that's okay to use, uh, we can also go to the advanced settings. Um, you can change the frequency from anywhere from 30 minutes to 24 hours. I'm going to leave it at 30 minutes. And you can also change how many actual posts from that blog get posted at that time. So, you know, we can change it. I'll change it to three. And then actually what you want to have posted. Do you want the title only or just the description? I, I would keep it to the title because some of the titles, you know, Twitter don't only lets you have 140 characters. So I'm going to change it to title only. And I'm going to leave the rest of this stuff alone. So I'm going to click on create feed. And here in my dashboard, you can see some of the um, feeds that I've already set up. This is one I did earlier, and here's Twitter secrets. So now, if you go back to um, your Twitter account, that's basically it. Um, upon those you know, intervals, you'll have posts on your Twitter account, and it'll look as if you know, you're posting your tweets automat yourself and it gives you more of a um, personal touch to your Twitter account. So there it is my friends. I'll see you at the next tutorial that we have set up. Make sure to check out our website.